Hello and thanks for joining this watch service episode. Today a Vostok Precision Class. A Soviet wristwatch that I was planning to restore for a very very long time. And today came this day. It has a movement 2809 inside and you will see in a moment why this watch is called a Precision Class. I think you will recognize this immediately. That's the movement. Don't you think it is looking quite impressive? Unfortunately it doesn't work, something is blocking it. And because of this balance we called it precision class. Now I'm starting to taking out the movement from the case. Nothing, nothing difficult. From the winding steam we can recognize that the movement needs proper cleaning and lubrication. Oh, it even started to work, so that's good sign, very good sign. This movement were produced between, between 1957, very nice Breguet has spring. So 1957 and 1962 I think, I don't remember now quite well. But anyway, I made a separate video about this movement. You can see it on my channel. Of course, I will left you a link in the description down below. And we can assume that this one here is at least 60 years old. Quite a lot. Let's take off the hands now. That's the hands. Very dressy look. This watch is having five star. And it's working quite well now. So it seems it was blocked with some dirt. This dirt fall off and now it's working. Anyway, we have to clean it and see if there is everything okay with it. I have to take off all this part before I start this assembly, this movement, this Vostok movement. Actually, I have to make only one additional video about another Vostok movement and I will have cover all Vostok movements on my channel. I made 24 uh, 16 this automatic movement 2409 2414 this one is 2809 and well uh, they're left this 22 series so 2209 or 2214 anyway this 2214 or 09 it's very similar to this one. So I think I also have to make a video about the movement 220914. Oh, that's the sweep second pinion. Okay, let's remove the keyless work. Pretty sad history about this movement because it was quite complicated and therefore quite expensive. The factory decided not to produce it anymore. Pretty sad, I think they could make some changes, maybe some other improvements because the movement itself is a very good one. The technology here is actually acquired from Zenit and to be more exact from Zenit 135. Anyway, you can see all the details and information in my other video. Of course, the link in the description or exactly here. If you are interested, see also this one video after seeing 
this quite exciting and very important service for me. Okay, let's start with the balance side. And here we see the bridge with fine time regulation, which gives this watch about plus minus two seconds a day. Of course, it when it was new, this one probably doesn't have it. But anyway, enjoy this part. wheel here is quite big the movement on the hole is having 28 millimeter diameter and the balance is almost half of the movement Here are the train wheels or gears, call it like you want. And the escape wheel is having a separate bridge. And here, well, <laughs> judge yourself. Okay, after cleaning, now I'm starting assembly of this movement, Vostok movement. 2809 it has quite a lot of capstones that gives this watch accuracy so that's the first one this is the this is the stone for the balance wheel balance spring and in a moment will be other part so let's move I decided to show the whole service not to make any separate parts so that you can see in about 20 minutes all steps that I made servicing this watch movement at home without any sophisticated equipment of course if someone is having a watchmaster workshop at home it is quite easier if you don't have well service maybe won't be very perfect but it also can be done and this is what you can see in my videos so if you're enjoying my videos if you are still with me here for a very very long time from the beginning i think you should subscribe and now is a good moment to subscribe and click the bell notification because in this way I will notify you anytime when I upload new video. the sweep second pinion I saw some movements that had this pinion broken and there was also to see some rust that's a sign that this movement is is very very old and not always was in a good condition anyway what I discovered here the dial here, I think it is a reprint, it's not an original dial, fortunately. But anyway, I will have to live with that. Here some little bit uh, task because this screw here 
is actually from the balance cock. This one is okay. We have here different length of the screws. So you have to remember when you will be disassembling this movement, which one where it goes. Not too many offers about to buy this watch, especially in a good condition. So if you would like to have one, I would suggest you should buy a one immediately. Uh, if you don't know where to start, you can check the description down below and I left there some affiliate links to eBay where you can find watches with this movement. Okay, let's move on with the assembly. painting from the star from this five stars disappeared unfortunately so it seems that someone repainted the stars so that the watch looks maybe a little bit more expensive or a little bit more better but anyway although it is very old it is in quite good condition it was used, it was worn, so there is no surprise that we have scratches here, quite a lot of scratches. We should be happy that it is working. Winding pinion and the clutch. And now the keyless work. Okay, the keyless work is almost finished. Now very important part, the pellet fork and the balance. So stay tuned. Not too many parts left. So you will see in the botch on my wrist on the end. Twenty-eight 
0.09, that's the caliber, and also this 28, that's the diameter of the movement. Vostok 2416 has diameter 24, and Vostok 2214 has diameter 22. What a big balance, it's amazing, but it also gives a special look. And it started even to work, so that's a very, very good sign. It makes a very big impression. Very sad that the watches from the past, they almost didn't have any see-through case back because so nice movement have to be shown, definitely. Now the balance spring. This is how I'm doing this. You need some practice, but it's not very, very difficult. A little bit winding. Now let's finish finally the assembly of the movement. There is a tension spring. Now the dial. I'm pretty sure it's a reprint, it looks too good. Made in USSR. And now will we go very very quickly. We are almost finished, so stay tuned. Only two minutes left actually. Okay, alignment, I think it's okay. Now recasing. Oh, it looks really, really well. I replace also the crystal so that we can see the dial. Now this ring. Okay, now the winding stem. Pretty hard to push it in. Okay. Okay, it's fine. This gasket is actually plastic, so. It's only here as a decoration, in fact. And well, that's the watch. Very nice, let's go outside and see how it looks on my wrist. I found this strap, so that's all from my side. If you like it, make the thumb up, subscribe, and I see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, take care, bye bye.